We just got done testing and reviewing the new iRobot Roomba i7 Plus and really loved it, and I will link that video in the description, but I decided to do a complete comparison of the specs and features of the entire new Roomba lineup for 2018-2019 so you can see which Roomba makes the most sense for you. Links in the description for current prices and reviews on all these vacuums, and let's get started. So let's start off with the similarities in the new lineup. All the current Roombas have what iRobot calls the three-stage cleaning system, which includes the dual brush roll design and one edge cleaning brush. They all have the same basic sensors, including the bump sensor and cliff detection, which prevents them from falling off stairs. They all have dirt detection technology, which causes them to make several passes when they detect large amounts of debris. All the current Roombas are also Wi-Fi connected, meaning you can schedule cleaning jobs from anywhere with the app, and they're all compatible with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. The final similarities across the board is that they're all very similar in size, as they're about 3.6 inches tall. Moving on to the differences. One of the main differences between the cheaper and more expensive Roombas is the navigation. For example, the Roomba 675, 690, and E5 are all more or less random in their navigation, meaning they kind of pinball around randomly to clean, whereas the Roomba 960, i7, and i7 Plus are all smart navigation Roombas, meaning they use a camera to map your home and they clean in more or less efficient straight lines while also navigating around obstacles. There is a slight difference among these smart navigation bots as well because the i7 and i7 Plus also have the new imprint technology that the 960 does not have. You can think of imprint as being a smarter smart navigation robot and that it also allows you to choose which rooms you want to clean. And imprint equipped Roombas are also much better at remembering the layout of your home, making them bump things less, and making them much more efficient. Another difference is the power of the Roombas. So let's take the 675 and 690 as the baseline for suction and airflow, which are both good cleaning robots and have the same power specs, but the E5 and 960 have five times more power than the 600 series, and the i7 and i7 Plus have 10 times more power than the 600 series. There's also a difference in battery life. The 675, 690, and E5 all have 90 minutes of runtime per charge, where the newer, more powerful Roombas all have 75 minutes per charge. I should also mention here that all of these Roombas will automatically return to the base to charge, but only the smart navigation Roombas, the 960, i7, and i7 Plus, have recharge and resume, meaning they pick up cleaning where they left off after recharging, which makes sense because the random navigation robots are random and don't remember where they left off anyway. The E5 through the i series all have HEPA filters, while the 600 series bots do not. Also, all the Roombas here except for the 675 come with one virtual wall barrier, which can keep the Roomba out of places you don't want it to go. A few quick details about the new i7 series, which by the way took the place of the Roomba 980, which has now been discontinued. The main difference between these two is the clean base, which automatically empties the dirt bin when the Roomba docks with it. This is an amazing feature, and I highly recommend watching our review on it if you're interested. The clean base comes with the i7 Plus, but not the i7 but the clean base will work with the i7 if the clean base is purchased separately. The dirt bins on the Roombas are very similar across the board, averaging about a half liter. The difference being that the i7 Plus with the clean base is a bit smaller due to it needing to be able to dock with the clean base. So, links in the description to Amazon to all these Roombas, and if you have questions, be sure to ask them in the comments. I try to respond to every question I get fairly quickly. Consider a like or a subscription to Vacuum Wars and check out our review of the i7 Plus. Thanks for watching.